This is Eric with Bowman Plumbing Services. We're located at 4128, uh, Unit 4128. Now, what we're going to be doing is a after video uh, for you guys to see the CIPP. What we have here is the CIPP going towards Gleeta Municipal Sewer Line in this direction and in this direction underneath the slab of 4128. First, we're going to take a look at the CIPP uh, material. This is a 4 inch permaliner material that uh, does connect down to Goleta Sewer Municipal Line. This is the section of pipe that we did as a demo today for the Sanitation Department. And uh, this was a success. As you can see, the fiberglass felt sleeve there has uh, perfectly aligned with the existing pipe. And as we drop into here, there's the municipal line. We're going to pull back slightly and where we can see that the uh, CIPP joint, if we go in just a little bit, does seal right up to the uh, top hat. Now we're going to pull back out and return and we're going to go in reverse, which is basically in the direction underneath the uh, slab where there were root intrusions and cracks and breaks in the cast iron line. And we'll take a look at that pipe in reverse. Again, this is the section of CIPP. As we go underneath, now this is a cast iron pipe that we descaled, removed the buildup, and basically uh, inserted the CIPP four inch epoxy fiberglass sleeve in. As you can see, there's a seamless jointless pipe now instead of a cast iron corroded uh, correct connected uh, waistline. So as we turn, these are 45 degree angles. Um, those were successfully passed. Overall, cast iron typically will have slight ripples in the uh, appearance of the fiberglass sleeve just because the surface is rougher than a uh, clay pipe. We'll continue back here. And basically this is where we end. There is a connection right on the other side of this at 24, 25 feet. And that's the existing line that uh, does not have any issues at this point in time. And we're going to end recording session now. This will be uploaded on YouTube for the HOA and Village Greens uh, to view.